Okay, so good day everyone. We have here your CS10 prelim exams. Okay, so this is the uh, solution for your prelim exam. Okay, so number one, write the three representation. Question is, write the three representation of sets for the following. Okay, so letter A, U is a set of one, two, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Okay, so let's answer letter A. Okay, so statement form. Statement form. Okay, so for the statement form, we have. Okay, so U is a set. Oh, ano po ba yung 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13? Okay. So, hindi naman po sila prime number. Ang prime number lang dyan ay 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, at 13. Yan ang prime number. Yung 9 hindi yung prime number. So, ano po sila? So, sila po ay integer. Integer na add positive add integer so u is a set of positive positive add integer okay so integer z z po yung integer okay so z between yan sinabi yan between 0 and in, yun yan, 15. Okay, 15. So, yun po ang statement form. Okay, next. Next is the roster form. Okay, so roster form. Napapansin nyo, yung given na yan, roster form na yan, so isulat nyo lang ulit. So, yun is equal to <clears throat> set ng 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13. So, ito na po ang roster for Okay. The next, set builder. Ito, medyo mahirap-hirap ang set builder. Okay. So, set builder form. Okay. Kasi yung set builder form, maglalagay ka ng mga formula. May mga word, yung mga such that na yun. Ibig sabihin, isulat mo siya in mathematical form. Okay. So, yun po ang set builder form. Okay, so set builder form. Now u, so u is equal to, ito na siya, ganyan. <clears throat> Sabihin natin set of all x. So x, element of, dapat dito sa element of na to is yung symbol ng element kasi hindi natin isulat. Okay, so yun na lang. x, element of, Positive Z. Uh, add na lang. Lagay na lang natin. Add. Z. Z. Lagay natin ng plus. Yung plus na yung dapat nasa taas. So Z plus. Okay. Ah, okay. <coughs> Tapos, total doc such that. Ibig sabihin nun. <coughs> such that. <coughs> Pwede rin sabihin na. <coughs> X. Is. Less than 15. Yun, pwede rin ito. Pwede rin ganyan. X is less than such that X is less than 15. Okay? Or, is equal to X element, niya, element, daming sagot yan, element of positive add ng uh, integer. Positive add integer such that uh, 0 at saka 13 such that 0 is less than x and less than 15. Yun po. Pwede rin po ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, 
between 0 and 15 yun. So 0, ang 1 po ay greater than 0. <clears throat> Basta sinabing positive add integer. So yun po ang sagot. Okay na. <clears throat> so next. <clears throat> next, sunod is uh, dito, tignan natin dito. Dito yung tanong nyo eh. B. Yung B naman. B is equal to set ng set ng 2, 4, 8, 10. Tapos sarado. So ano po yan? So ang statement form statement form okay, so, ang sagot na po na statement form is B is a set of ano naman siya positive even <clears throat> positive even integer din siya even integer <clears throat> integers positive even integers lagi na natin yan integers between between between, ano ba yan? 0 and 12. So, 0 and 12. Yun po ang sagot. Next. Ang roster form, ganun din. Sulat lang din. Roster form. Roster form is, ang sagot po is B equals to 2, 4, 8, and 10. Okay, so yun po ang roster for next. Ang set builder, builder form, builder form po ay B equals to set po ng X, eh? X element of positive add integers din siya. O oh, even integers din. Set of even integers. So t plus. Tapos ito, such that 0 is less than x. Ano ba yan? 0 is less than x is less than 12. Yan po yun siya. Yung sagot. Or <coughs> equal din sa set ng x element of even integer. So, positive even integer. So, called off such that x is less than 12. Pwede rin po yan. Ganyan. Kasi, yung 0 naman po, hindi naman po yan in, uh, even integer. Okay, hindi rin siya positive, hindi rin siya negative. Okay na, so naintindihan. <clears throat> Next. Next is letter C. Okay, sabihin na natin C. So yung letter C is C is equal to C is equal to set ng 1, 9, 5, and 11. Ah, 1, 9, 5, and 13 pala. So, ang um, statement form dyan, statement form, statement form ay uh, set. Um, C is a set of add integer. Add integer din sila eh. One, five. Kaso meron silang common difference na 4. Okay? So 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. And 9 plus 4 is 13. So, yun po. so integer Z plus then five 
from sa so, nagsimula so 1 from 1 to from so, statement kasi lagi natin from 1 to 13 yan from 1 to 13 with common difference of common difference of four. Yun po yung four. Okay, yun po yung uh, statement four. Yung iba naman, sabi yung ibang sagot, C is a set of add integer 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 uh, less than sabi yan, less than less than 15 15 15 excluding yan excluding excluding ano yan 3 7 11 ano po ba dyan ang dyan 1 3 5 oh, 3 7 saka 11 yun ang sagot nila so magaling din sila so excluding 3 7 and 3, 7, and 11. Yun ang sagot nila. So, lagay natin dito. Kasi statement. 3, 7, and 11. Yun, yun po ang sagot nila. Okay? So, pwede rin yan. <coughs> Tapos, ang <coughs> roster form Poster form. Poster form po niyan ay ganun din. C is equal to set na 1. Arrange na lang natin 5, 9, and 13. Okay. And then, yung set builder. Yung set builder form. Set builder form ay C is equal to set po ng X. X. Uh, uh, y. Sa akin, Y. Ginawa kong Y. Y element of add positive add integers such that. Yan. Ito such that y sub 1 equals to x equals to 1 and y sub 2 equals to uh, x plus 4 and then y sub 3 y sub 3 po yan equals to x plus 8 tama and y sub 4 is equal to x plus 12. So, po yung sagot. Yung iba naman, pwede naman. C equals to x element of add integer such that x is less than is less than 15 tama excluding yan excluding 3 7 and 11 yan po so pwede rin yan okay so <clears throat> ito po 20 points yung kanina letter A 20 points yung letter B is 20 points, so 60 points na po yan. Okay, next. Next naman is <clears throat> in number two question, find the uh, greatest common divisor. So, 1, 6. Okay. So, G 
सीधी of the following so we are going to find for the gcd so number two anong is one six two four and three one six okay so in front anong so let solution let let a equals to one six two four and B equals to 316. Okay? So, ang, ang form po natin, quotient, uh, remainder quotient form, a quotient remainder form rather is A equals to B. Ano yung times natin dito? That na lang, that. Q plus R. Yun po ang form natin. So ilagay lang natin sa form. 1, 6, 2, 4 is equals to, ano yung B? 3, 1, 6. The, uh, that. <clears throat> Asterix na lang. Asterix. Asterix dito. Asterix. Ibig sabihin time. Ano yung R? So kung ipocompute natin, ganito lang yan. Uh, 1,624 divided by 36. So, ang sagot po yata dyan is, so yata may solution na tayo, is 5. So, pag minultiply po natin yun ng 5, yun po yung quotient natin. Plus, yung remainder po natin is, pag minultiply natin yan, pag minultiply natin ito, isubtract natin sa 1, 2, uh, 1,624. Ang remainder po yan ay 44. So, Okay, the next magiging A naman po natin is uh, 316 and B is equals to 44. Yan na naman po sa susunod. So magiging 316 is equals to 44 asterisks. Ano naman yung remainder? So 7, magiging multiply 7. Uh, 7 plus so, 44 times 7, oh, 316 minus 44 times 7. 316 minus 44 times 7 is 8. So, remainder po natin is 8. Ayan po. So, makikita nyo. Ayan po. Remainder po natin is 8. Okay? So, then, <clears throat> magiging sagot is, A naman po is magiging 44. 44 and B is equal to 8. Yan naman po ang panibagong isusulat natin sa quotient remainder form. So 44 is equal to 8. Naman po 8. Asterisk. So 40. <coughs> oh, 8 times 5 is 40. So 5 po ang quotient plus remainder is 4. And then yung A naman po natin is magiging 8 and <coughs> B is equal to 4. Okay. The next. So 8 is equal to 4. Asterisk. So, so 4 times 2 is 8. So remainder na po natin is 0. So therefore, the, the G, C, D of G, C, D of of, ano yan? 4 taka 0. 4, 4 and 0 is equal to 4. Of course, 4. So, ang sagot po natin, <coughs> ang <coughs> greatest common divisor po natin ay 4. Okay, so 4 po ang greatest common divisor natin. <coughs> so, 4. Then, yung extended Euclidean algorithm, extended Euclidean algorithm, susulat na natin. So, hanapin natin dito ang may 4. So, ang may 4, this is your, sabihin natin dito, ah, ito yung equation 1. Equation 1. Ito naman, 
equation 2. Ito na mong may 44 equation 3. <clears throat> Tapos ito, ito huli is equation 4. <clears throat> so from equation 3, from equation 3, E3, C4 daw ay, C4 ito, C4. C4 ay dyan lang yan, ilipan natin si 8, asterisk 5. So magiging 4 is equals to 44 asterisk 1 minus 8 asterisk 5. Yun po siya. And the next, <clears throat> sa ito, si ito ay Ayan si ito. Okay. So from ito, si 8 naman daw. 8 is equals to, you know, 8 is equals to. So ilipat natin si 44 asterisk 7. So magiging 316 asterisk 1. Kasi pag minultiply mo ng 1, ganun din. Minus 44 asterisk 7. Tapos, substitute po natin kay and substitute and substitute substitute to C3. Ganun po. So, magiging C3 na natin is plus to 4 is equal to 44 asterisk 1 Minus, ano yung 8? Ano yung 8 is? 316 asterisk 1 minus 44 asterisk 7. So yun po. Times, dito na lang natin ilagay, 5. 5. <coughs> so magiging, simplify natin. So, 3 is equals to 4 is equals to 44. Asterisk 1. Tapos, negative. Negative. 316. Asterisk 5 na siya. Minus. So, magiging plus. Plus 44. Asterisk 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35. Yan na po. And then. Sa ito. Sa so ito, meron tayong 44 eh. Si 44, sa ito, o oh, sa E1. Sa E1, ayan o, oh, si 44. So from E1. From E1. Ano po si 44? From E1. Okay, from E1. From E1, so 44. Ayan no? So meaning, ilipat lang natin itong si 316 asterisk 5. Okay? So, we have 44 is equal to 1624 asterisk 1. Magiging times 1 na yan. Minus 316 asterisk 5. Okay? So, then, <coughs> substitute to... <coughs> And, and substitute to E3 ulit. E3. So we have E3 is equals to 4. Is equals to ano yung 44? So, ganito yan. So, 1 na lang. Asterisk, yung 44 is 1, 6, 2, 4. Asterisk 1 minus 3, 1, 6, asterisk 5. Sarado na po natin. Uh, ito pala, pag sinimplify natin is magiging 44 asterisk 36. So 36 na ito, magiging 36. Diyan na lang. Diyan na lang muna. So, ito. Ito magiging 4 is equal to 
44 asterisk 36 minus 316 asterisk 5. So, yan siya. So, ito dito, 36 to. So, 36 asterisk. Okay? So, para sila nga, multiply. And then, dito, minus 316 asterisk 5. So, simplify po natin. So, E3 pa rin ito. E3. So, simplify po natin. So, we have so we have 4 is equals to so 1, 6, 2, 4. Asterisk, multiply natin itong 36. So 1. So asterisk, 36 yan. Tapos, <coughs> ito magiging minus. Minus pa rin, minus. 3, 1, 6, asterisk, 5 times 36. 5 times 36. So, ang sagot po ay 180. Ayan po, 180 po. So, 180, so meaning dito ay asterisk 180 minus 316 asterisk 5. So, i-add lang po natin yung dalawa. So, sabi dyan, we have 4 is equals to 1624 asterisk 36 minus 316 asterisk 185 na pinag-add na po natin ito. 180 saka 5. Okay? Or, sabi dyan, or 4 is equals to 1624 asterisk. Uh, asterisk ito. Or multiply to times 36. Instead na minus, so pwede ting plus. 316 times, ayan na, negative 185. So, sa form po na ito, yan sinabi kasi sa form na ito, is nabiging 4 daw. 4 is equals to 1624x plus 316y. So, therefore, so therefore, therefore, x is equals to 36 and y is equals to negative 185. So yun po ang sagot. Okay? <clears throat> so yun po yung sagot. Tapos sa number 3, Halos lahat naman kayo tama. Sundin nyo lang po yan. So, ganun din. O sige, solvein natin yung number 3. Okay? So, ito po ay 20 point. Okay? Next. <clears throat> yung number 3. Number 3 is 6110, 610, and 192. Tama. Find GCD and find the GCD and solution for X and Y. Okay. And X, Y, so that, so that 610X plus 190. So, y is equal to so d or your greatest common divisor d. Yan, dapat mang ganyan daw. So, first, solving for d. Okay, so solving for d or the gcd. Okay, d or the gcd. <laughs> okay. So we have let let a is equals to 110 and b equals to 192. Okay na. So ganun din yung quotient remainder form. A equals to b dot 
quotient plus the remainder. So, ganun po. So, 610 is equals to 192 times. So, big sabihin, whole number lang. So, 610 divided by 192. So, 3. So, sagot po ay 3. Plus, 192 times 3. Minus 610. So, 34 po yung remainder. 34. So, next. So, magiging sundan lang po yung kanina na yan. So, magiging 192 na rito. 192 is equals to 34 naman. Asteris. So, 192 divided by 34. So, 5. So, 5 times 34. 70. So, 5 ito. Plus, minus 192. So, 22 po. Yun yung remainder. So, magiging 34 saka 22. So, 34 is plus to 22. Asterisk. So, 1 na po ito. 1 plus. Ano po ang remainder? 12. So, 12 na po yung remainder dyan. Kasi 22 plus 12 is 34. So, magiging sunod na dyan is 22 is plus 2, 12 na. 12 asterisk, asterisk 1. So plus remainder po ay 10. Okay, 10. Next, <coughs> magiging 12 na. 12 is plus 2. 10 times 1 plus remainder po niya is 2. Next is <coughs> 10. Is plus 2, 2. Asterisk 5. Plus, so 2 times 5, 0. So, 0 na to. So, therefore, <coughs> the GCD, or sabihin natin D, of 2 saka 0. 2 saka 0. 2 and 0 is 2. Okay, so ito po ang sagot. So, <clears throat> so yung D po natin is 2. So, is solving for extended Euclidean algorithm. Extended Euclidean algorithm. So, we have, hanapin natin yung my 2. So, yung my 2 is ito. So, yung sa 12, Sundan nyo lang yung mouse. 12 equals to 10 asterisk 1 plus 2. So, yun, 2. So, 2 is equals to, ilipat natin sa so 12 asterisk 1 minus 10 asterisk 1. So, next, you know, hanapin natin si 10. So, si 10 naman is 22 is equals to 12 times 1 plus 10. So, substitute natin dyan. And 10 is plus 2. 12 asterisk 1. Ah, 22 pala. 22 asterisk 1. Minus 12 asterisk 1. So, substitute lang natin. So, magiging 2 plus 2. 12 asterisk 1 minus, ano yung 10? Minus, so 10 is 22 asterisk 1 minus 12 asterisk 1. Tapos dito, 1, dito may 1. 1 asterisk, yan. So simplifying, we have 2 is plus 2, 12 asterisk 1. Minus 22 asterisk 1 so plus 12 asterisk 1. So ilang 12 asterisk 1 yan? So dalawa. So 2 plus 2, 12 asterisk 2. Asterisk 2 minus 22 asterisk 1. Next, hanapin naman natin si 12. Ayan si 12. 
to 12 is equals to yung pang number, ito hanap. Pang number 3, yung 34 minus 22 times 1. Okay? So 12 is equals to 34 asterisk 1 minus 22 asterisk 1. So substitute lang natin. <coughs> substitute natin. So we have <coughs> 2 is equals to 12 is 34 asterisk 1 minus 22 asterisk 1 tapos dito na ka asterisk ito 2 asterisk yan siya minus 22 asterisk 1 sundan nila next simplify na natin so 2 is equals to so, 34. 34 asterisk 2 minus 22 asterisk 2 minus 22 asterisk 1 or times 1. So, ilan po na 22 yan? Na negative, so 3. So, 34 times 2 minus 22 times 3. Ayan po. Next, sanapin naman natin si 22. Ayan si 22. So number 2. <clears throat> so 22 is equals to 192 times 1 minus 34 times 5. <clears throat> so ticket na po natin dyan. 22 at uh, 2 is equals to 34 times 2 minus 22 po. So dito na lang. 3 asterisk times 1, 9, 2 times 1 minus 34 times 5. Ang sagot po is 2 is equal to 34 times 2. Tapos, minus 192 times 3 plus 34 times, yung 5 times 3 is 15. Simplify natin, 2 is equal to, ilang 34 yan? 34, 2, saka 34, 5. So 34, 17, 34, 17. Minus 192 times 3. Okay, so 192 times 3. Next. Ano naman ang 34? So 34 equals to yung sa una. 610 times 1. Minus 192 times 3. Yung sa una. <clears throat> so next. 4 is equals to. Substitute na po natin. So, 17 na rito. Times. So, 34 is 610 times 1 minus 192 times 3. Sarado minus 192 times 3. So, simplify natin. So, 2 equals 2. So, 17 times 1. So, magiging 610 times 17 minus ito daw, so negative. So, 3 times 17. <coughs> 3 times 17. So, 51. So, minus 192. 51 minus 192. 192 times 3. So, ilan yan? 51 saka 3. So, meaning, we have 54. So, 2 is equal to 610 after 17 plus na lang. Plus 192 after 51 ito. 51 saka 3. So, 50. So, negative niyan. Negative 54. 
Okay? So, sa forma po na yan, ito, dito sa taas, makikita natin, sa x ay 17, saka si y is 54. So, therefore, therefore, g is equal to 2, x is equal to 17, and y is equal to y is equal to negative 54. So, ilang points po yan? So, that is 20 points. So, total po is 100 points. Okay? So, meron pa rin mababa sa inyo. Meron namang perfect. Dalawa yata yung perfect sa inyo. Tapos yung bagsak yun, isa lang. 14 score niya. So, mag-aral kayo mabuti. Okay? So, the topic na natin ay yung binigay ko sa inyo yung uh, fundamentals of programming na yun. Nagagawa tayo ng mga flowchart. Okay? So, flowchart. Pero, ang gagawin po natin na flowchart ay yung mga problem. Problem po ng mga math gawa natin ng flowchart. Yun kasi yung algorithm. Uh, math kasi yung ano? Math kasi yung algorithm yung complexity. So, sana matapos natin, maabot natin yung mga big O, uh, big O, tsaka big data notation kung ano po yun i-discuss din natin okay so uh, pre mag-limit time pa lang tayo so doon na tayo sa uh, flow chart flow chart po ng mga worded problems yun pang po solve natin okay so thank you and god bless as all this is for uh, cs pen na prelim exam okay so ingat ko big po again sir lloyd of the sia college of technology and of course, your channel is Sir Lloyd Classroom. Okay, so bye-bye and God bless us all. <clears throat>